Good time. I don't even want to tell you guys these jokes. That's how mad I am at you guys. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You realize how mad I am at you guys right now? Comedy 101. For anybody out there who's ever thought about, ooh, what's it like behind the curtain? I'm gonna kick this fucking stool over right now. Tonight I'm in Jackson, Ohio at Stockroom 601, and I'm featuring for the very funny Jesse Nutt. But before we go to Stockroom, I'm driving. That's why. <laughs> We made a little pit stop at Steiner's Speakeasy. So this place is famous in Chillicothe, and the owner is actually world famous for her cocktails, and she's gonna show us how to make some today. So let's go inside and meet Tara and check out Steiner's. What's up, guys? We're at Steiner's Speakeasy in Chillicothe, Ohio, right now with owner Tara. And she's gonna teach us how to make some cocktails today. What are we doing today, Tara? I think we should start off with a classic, if that's cool with you. Yeah. So our first one's going to be a French 75, okay. which is an old Prohibition-style cocktail. So you, I noticed you mentioned Prohibition, and this place is called a speakeasy. So can you tell me like the idea behind that a little bit? So the idea behind calling it a speakeasy is actually not as traditional as somebody might think. Um, so my grandfather always wanted to own his own establishment. Um, he was a factory worker his whole life and never got to open his own bar. He passed away in February of 2014. and. His major style of cocktail appreciation was prohibitionary style. So the old fashions, French 75s. Where it started. That's what he loved. Yeah. And he would always talk to me about if he could ever own his own place, that would be what it, what it would be. Um, so when he passed away, it kind of gave me motivation to do it for myself. Yeah, I right? love like, that. Like stop yeah. doing it for someone else. And so Steiner is actually his last name. And then the speakeasy is the node to the style of cocktails that he loved. And then if you look above our fireplace, that's their wedding picture. Oh, that's awesome. That's my grandma and grandma. So they're watching over you here All the, the whole time. time. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Yeah, I bet, <laughs> I bet there's been some wild nights in the diners. Absolutely. 100%. French, how do you say the name again? A French 75. A French 75. So basically what I've done is um, two ounces of gin, an ounce of Cointreau, an ounce of lemon juice, and then we're gonna top her with champagne. Oh my god, it's, it smells like grapefruit and citrus. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. I would drink that if it didn't have gin in it. <laughs> <laughs> so for someone like me who's not a big drinker but loves cocktails and loves the idea of like prohibition and wants to have kind of this experience, what are we gonna do, soda water? Or what would my kind of like, um, essentially tofu or whatever you want to fill or be. Like how are we going to make a filler Yeah, how do we do this and, and um, still make it sweet? So, ironically enough, I'm going to use a sparkling apple cider. Okay. This is a honey simple syrup, so we make all of our simple syrups here. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the lemon from the cocktail we used first and honey, and we're basically going to create like a sweet and sour kind of a liqueur with some ice. So the more you shake, the more water you add to your cocktail. And since this is a mocktail, we want to add as much water as possible because we're diluting these very like rich flavors. And then we're going to top shake. Are you going to set me up to shake it? Yeah. I thought, I thought you were. I thought this is what you were doing. You were like giving me instructions, and I was like, I'm not the fucking shake. This, <laughs> <laughs> like, this is about to get good, baby. <laughs> Is this aggressive enough? More. More aggressive. <laughs> That's called emulsifying, right? It is. All right, emulsification, guys. And then we're going to strain it into here. So this would basically be um, what we would do with the gin. Okay. And, and the Cointreau. So this is a French 75 without? Without alcohol. All right. And then instead of um, champagne, we're going to use the apple cider. So we'll just top it with some apple cider. Nice, I love vapes. Holy shit. This is not happening right now. Now that's got smoke inside of it. Yeah, and then is pop it, is, it. Is there like a, is like a crystal ball? <laughs> I can see my, I'm gonna fucking murder tonight. Oh my God, that's not how you do it, is it? Right this? Yeah. That's how I hold it? He was so excited about the bubble, he got excited. I'm so dumb. Oh my God, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's good. What we do is we make our own Mexican street corn simple syrup and we use the actual corn as our sugar product to make the simple and then add cilantro, um, jalapeno, cayenne, bring it all to a boil, strain it all out and then we add fresh citrus, some muddled pineapple and then our El Jimidor tequila and Cointreau. What is this that? is Chili tahine. Pe tahine peppers. Yes. Seasoning. In tahine the lime. is delicious. This is beautiful. 
Oh my god, I want it so bad. It smells like I want to put this on chicken. I just want to, mar- <laughs> I want to marinate, marinate it in alcohol in and tahini. Yes, and then come to Steiner's and get the I love you elote. This is incredible. Thank you, Tara. Yeah, you're the best. This is what it's like behind the curtain. No, it, it, I mean, for real. Yeah, it's not that glamorous. It's, you know, other than the New York, the LA, the Atlanta, the, the whatever, you know, the big city gigs, which again, you only can do so many times, so often, blah, 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 blah. The bread and butter of any real stand up comic in America. Gigs like this. Yeah, true. If you're a booked comic on a real show, um, whether 10, 110, 210, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Um, in the great scheme of things, this is one show among hundreds dash thousands yeah. that you intend to do. Unless this is a stepping stone. You know, for a lot of people, this is just a fucking stepping stone. Comedy. You know, they'll do stand up yeah. to get in. Do the math. Right now in America, okay, it's Saturday night. How many comedy clubs do you think are open in the United States? Total. Maybe less than 500. We counted up. 400. Yeah. Maybe 400. Yeah. Okay. Let's say three comics per sh- three comics per show. So that's 700? 1,200 people. 1,200 people. Okay. 1,200 comics. Now let's drop down to rooms like this. B rooms. Yeah. We're yeah. doing bar shows and stuff. How many? Another 200? Another maybe? couple hundred at least. Yeah. yeah. All right. So... There's less than 3,000 people in the United States right now living the dream. That's true. Yeah. And okay. some people are doing way worse gigs or way better gigs, but that doesn't matter because like we get to do it. Some people aren't, are on the couch right or now. Or as I like to say, just thinking about they're comedy. sitting at home. Yeah. Okay. Masturbating with the lubricant <laughs> of their bitter tears. Yep. Wishing they were somewhere doing this shit. You're not kidding. Okay. That's what I do on nights. I'm not booked. All right. <laughs> Look, we all do. Okay. It doesn't matter if you took the night off on purpose. There will come a moment in that night where you're like, you'll look on Facebook, see where everybody else is. Yep, yep. You're like, These motherfuckers. <laughs> could have been on that show. <laughs> I could have did a guest spot or something. Okay. I could have killed in that show. 100%. Yeah, but you're sitting there, and usually you're sitting there with your girl or whatever, and she's like, what's up? Nothing. About to write a good. joke. Everything's good. Everything's good. <laughs> Do you think that inspires you to write more, though, and get some heat under you when you see? Because I think a lot of times, People get the misconception that because other people have opportunities that it necessarily like takes away from us. No. But for me, I try to look at it like, okay, I guess that's available for me at some point too. Okay. Right? That's how I try it's, to look at it. We're just like MCs in this regard. We can't be identical. Okay? So there is no such thing as you getting a shot takes away from my shot. Mm-hmm. Okay? You get your shot because your flow is good, it's unique. Yeah. I get my shot because my flow is unique. He gets his shot. It's all the same, okay? Yeah. If if I come in sounding like Nas, I'm not going to get a shot. You got to be unique, yeah. Okay, you have to be you. So in that regard, I've always I've always totally discounted anybody saying, you know, just because A is getting attention, now other people can't get attention. Right. No. It actually brings more attention to the whole scene overall. That's what I'm saying, man. And if you're doing your own thing, you have another port of entry. Everybody's spitting. Circle right. back around, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think there's so many open mics right now going on in America where you know people are starting to hear, they're starting there, starting everywhere. There's a reason, man. People are interested. Okay? Yeah. They want to see what's up. They enjoy it. Okay. And a lot of people really enjoy watching the process. They really do. Yeah, figuring it out. They dig it. All right. They dig watching their friends try it or they want to try it or whatever. But yeah, people need laughter. You know. And even, you know, this show is necessarily going to be packed, but 
It's a show. It's a Saturday night. It's a Saturday night. It's a show. There you go. You guys have it from the man himself. It's about the experience. Make sure you go down on the bottom, like this video, subscribe to my channel, motherfucker, so I can come on your phone. I want to come all over your phone screen. I want to be on your phone. With morning wood. I want to come with morning wood on your phone. If you want me there, go down to the bottom. We're almost at 300 subscribers, and we're about to hit 100,000 plays on YouTube. Thanks to you guys. Shout out to you guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.